Another nice day in Cali. Get him some snow. Got ready to ride. This right there. You guys ready to start the view? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> what year is it? 2004. 2004. It's not Tepez, is it? No. It's, it's a uh, sedan. It's a hatch. <laughs> What's up, guys? Kilo K with another review video, and today we're reviewing the 2004 G35. This is the homie's Isaiah's. Uh, he just got it not too long ago, and I'm kind of excited to go see uh, what he got now. Pretty much, this car is pretty much stock. The only thing that it has done to it. Harry Potter is probably going to Hogwarts or some shit. Anywho, oh shit, hold on, let's wait. Bye, Harry. Anyway, this car's pretty much stock. The only thing it has is the uh, intake and it has an AP performance exhaust. It sounds really nice, actually. It is dropped on some TN springs. Uh, it has the headlights, both headlights and taillights tinted which it makes it pretty cool because he has HIDs and it brightens up pretty good there you go this model is a coupe thank you and it is a 3.5 um, so for a v6 it drives pretty 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 good so let's check out the inside and see how the comfortability is so already my first impression is the seats for a big person it, it it's uh it's all right it hugs your thighs a lot so I think for a person with my stature, it would be go just to be local. And for a long ride, I don't think I don't think I can handle. I do like to see if you guys see the seat right here. It has half suede and half leather. That's pretty neat. A lot of the sports cars, you know, have it. It gives it a nice texture. I like the fact that it's red. It gives it even better, and it has uh, seat warmers as well. So you want that ass to be fire? Get one of these on. 
it is a six-speed manual transmission. I like that. I like this shift knob just for the fact that it gives you more like stability. It gives you more grip. You know, you already know where you're going. It does have an after aftermarket stereo. It's pretty nice because I think the stock one's just it's too stock. Uh, I like the little compartment that it has here. It's pretty roomy actually. Look at that. My whole fist fits in there, so I guess a pretty good amount. Right here in the middle, in the middle center cubby, it's not that bad. Um, you could fit a couple of things, maybe your wallet, your phone, things that you're not supposed to be having. For the back, I would say two regular people, and you might be saying define regular. How about much thinner people than I? Uh, it's not that bad. It looks like they have enough knee room. I don't know if you want to take a look at that. Yeah, that's a pretty good amount of space. I like the fact that it has that suede and leather. It's pretty nice. It has a little center center cubby there. Put your drinks and all that good stuff. So it's pretty cool. It does have a sunroof. I personally love sunroof. I love. I I actually use it. People just say, "Why do you want to?" a hole in your car. I was like, yeah, you know, at night, you know, get a little romantic with the ladies, you know what I mean? It, it works, it's just that the car is off. The cluster, the cluster's all right. I mean, uh, if you guys are familiar with the Nissan product, it does look uh, the same. Gray in the back, uh, orange light. Uh, nothing too, too fancy there. Uh, and for all you people that don't have watches, this one has to watch for you, so now you know the time. It might not be digital, but it looks fancy. I mean, uh, wanna be Rolex, but it works. It's nice and fancy. I, I'd hang that shit up in my house if I if I had one of those. It does come with uh, two outports. This, uh, these outlets has one for for your passengers so they can stop bitching. Oh, let me use the freaking charger. I wanna use this. My turn. Well, you got your own bitch. I'm gonna open that. Okay, let's pretend. Okay. <laughs> That shit was like that. I didn't fuck it up. It was just like that. It has a nice little, uh, little cubby there as well. Um, it looks like it's damn. It's pretty deep. My whole hand fits there. I guess for the license registration, please, fits in there. Oh, it has two. License registration part two. Yeah, there's a white. I think you could touch the engine from here. Right, look. Is that the header? I think it is. <laughs> I'm just playing. Infinity decided to be a little fancy. Look. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's like magic. You seen that shit? Electronically. Look. Okay, I might fuck it up, so I'm gonna stop. Pretty much. Uh, that's that's interior. It's not that bad. Uh, I pretty much like it. Uh, if you guys are familiar with the 350, it's similar to it, except that this time you can have two more people in the back so you could enjoy the the drift ride. Um, this is a real wheel drive car, so if you're a drifter, no, 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 don't think that way. No, I seen you. I seen. You. This specific model has a stage one clutch from Clutch Masters, and it has a lightweight aluminum uh, flywheel. So this doesn't give you too much play, but uh, it grips. When that shit grips, it grips. So that's just pretty much it for now. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and drive the car for a bit, and uh, we'll let you know what we think. So if you are a car guy, and we're in an enclosed place, That shit? This this is an AP performance uh, exhaust. Let's listen to it. Ooh, let's go test this shit out. Here. I didn't notice is the headroom. I'm only 5'8 and um, I'm not that tall and I really have no headroom. Look, it's not even the hat. Look. Let's see, look. If anything, my, my hand barely fits there. So, for a tall person, you're gonna have to fucking make this fucking sunroof bigger than this shit and you stick your fucking head out because you ain't gonna fit in this bitch. Before we even continue this video, my car guy's at. Tunnel, look at that tunnel. Ready? Ready?
we just created a fucking... <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> the Ford Focus. And just recapping, all this is performed in Mexico. And the wall's not even built yet. The thing I did notice, the springs that it has, they're not Bante at all. The last car I reviewed was the RT. That thing looked like we we're in a fucking lowrider. For this, usually, typically, uh, if you have a whatever kind of brand, uh, all right kind of brand for uh, springs you have a bouncy house but this one's pretty nice and firm it's not it's not even bumpy or anything it eats the freaking potholes and all that shit like a champ oh jesus look we're just gonna wait on we get a little pull here here comes pull one Like I said, all this is performed in Mexico. Look, that does not say the indoor swami. We call it the indoor swami. You know? Dude. This train is butter smooth, boy. It picks up pretty quick. So we take off the traction control and you feel that shit grip, that, that freaking flywheel. Damn, that shit just... I'm gonna know there's no spin whatsoever. Driving already for a while and... I'm not sure if the if the seat already numbed my ass or the seat's actually really comfortable. Because I don't... F at first I felt a little pain, but... Now it just does. It doesn't even phase me anymore. I love how the 350s and the Infinities all have that, that like, core. It's like, it's not too deep. It's not too light. It's not even raspy. It's just like, oh! You know what I mean? That just, that just sounds dope. This is a really bumpy road, and you don't even feel it. Look, like, it's like. Now, if you would have been some cheap ass shit, that would have been, that, that been something else, man. I think it would have fucking flew out or got stuck in the sunroof or some shit. The little interior, it's like a synthetic leather, if you would. It's nice. Look, it's not even bad. That Rolex watch we've been having. That shit's pretty bad too. It has like a little mini, a uh, little uh, electronic compass there. I guess we're going westbound. It has a little uh, temperature gauge out there as well. Not that bad. Uh, now, since it does have an aftermarket radio, unfortunately these are canceled or deleted. Usually you'd be able to put up the volume and all that, but for ha if you were to have a stock stereo, these are some hand-free uh, safety utensils for the car, if you would. See now, for those baby punches, if it would have been my Zuby, if I'd be at a half tank, I'd be pumping gas right now. You see me at the fucking gas station. But this one's actually not that bad. The thing I like about the vehicle, the red, man. The red is an attention. Look at that Evo. God. Uh, if only this was red. I mean green, what the fuck? <laughs> Why is it that the vast majority of Evo sooner uh, Evo owners and STI owners they're Asian, man? And that's not to be racial. It's just like that's their Honda or something. He said hi. Again, again, you know the tunnel. We have to do it. It's a total thing, man. It's like, it's a must. If not, you're not a car enthusiast or something like that. Like I was saying, the color is fucking bad. I love how the fact the interior is black and the, and first of all, black, it's a, it's a nice color f for dirt. Why? Because you can't even tell. Now, if it'd be something like a brown or something, you could tell all oh, that. Dude, you fucking spill some shit on that. What the fuck, you know? But black, it's the, all right, I'll tolerate a little more. And the outside, it's a fucking bright ass color. It's like red, it's like, oh, is that a walking stop sign? You know what I mean? That's just fucking bad, man. You just be 
breaking necks all the time. Oh, look, catch that, catch that, catch that. Tell me you caught that. Oh, shit. Steering is nice and stiff. It makes you feel like you're in control. Unlike the RT I reviewed, that one's butter smooth. You were, it was just, you were prone to fucking crash if you were, that's just fucking crash into that pole and shit. But this one, nice and stiff. It makes you feel like you're in control. You, you, you have all the handling. And actually, we don't have too much body roll in here. As, as I, well, we did have a lot of fun driving this car. I really, I really want to give a shout out and a big thanks to Isaiah, the owner. He's in the back. Give him, give him a sub. Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at Isaiah underscore though. How do you spell that out? <laughs> I S A I A H underscore T H O E C X. Snapchat? Snapchat at Isaiah 214 I S A I A H 2142. Yeah, and you plan to build this car? Uh, more than likely, I'll probably build. So if you guys want to catch him around, you know, follow him on his uh, build. There's a lot more to do in this car. And I'm pretty excited to see how it's gonna turn out, the outcome. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> I love that shit. Alright, I also wanna give a shout out to my boy Ready Rob. He's the one producing. Alright, well, we're gonna cut this video already and we're actually in a nice area. Look. Nice. Alright, so Kilo OK signing out and remember, do what you love and love what you do. But before we exit. Y'all know what's gonna happen, huh? Wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> Alright. Woo! Alright, now let's wrap this video. Alright, we'll see you guys in the next review we do. If we make it alive. They're gonna kick us out of this place, but. Uh, and later, people. station you didn't put gas no it's fucking mike we did a challenge we did the what's in your mouth challenge we did the whole thing and dumbass lalo decided to fucking turn off the mic we did the fucking challenge for no reason basically no manches you never posted it huh well no this guy caught it with the gopro but i don't know if it's good quality enough to start chopping it up or not